the song. Yeah, yeah. it's a kind of a legend um, of the songwriting community, and uh, he graced the studio, uh, Easy Eye, where we were writing and tracking. Um, and obviously, if you're not quite with Dan Albert, you'll know the Black Keys, no less. I'm sure you know Dan too. Um, and they were sat there, what are we should we write about today? And I was like, well, you know, I came out of a house fire. Um, we should probably write something about that. That feels somewhat transitional. Um, uh, I was wearing a maxi dress, which I wish I was wearing today, because I really have to clap them together. But like, uh, uh, and, uh, I was um, just getting ready, packing things for Christmas. And uh, uh, I'm testing this bioethanol burner. And uh, as you know, from you were there at the show last night, uh, it worked fine, but the little canister with the bioethanol was leaking. And when I lit the reservoir, the flame appeared beautifully, and then it trickled out of the canister, and the canister went up. And then it trickled out to my dress, and my dress went up. And so I was uh, on fire, and in shock, as you'd imagine, something quite terrifying like that. Some people run around like headless chickens. Me, I'm a static shock person. I go, like a bunny in the headlights. That's my shock. And so I'm like, I don't need to get out of this shock soon or I'm not going to live through this. And so I'm, I, I need to think of something worse than being on fire. That's not an easy thought, but something I've been through that's worse that I've survived. And. Uh, uh, I thought back to like this um, environment that I come out of that was very like misogynistic in a misogynoir way. So the specific brand of misogyny reserved for black women and uh, and very oppressive uh, in so many ways. And it dawned on me, I've been out of that environment for a couple of years, that I'd take my life at that point plus fire any day of the week over that environment minus fire and that made me laugh so hard that I laughed myself out of that shock and that whole period I took about three years out from music um, and it was kind of just uh, maybe the last of those three years where I decided I'd start uh, writing songs for myself again and so I was really going going moving between two worlds and from being a bad, le um, a bad leader in spirit, but really a doormat to a solo artist and leading a band in reality. Um, and this next song was inspired by that moment of transition and that epiphany of happiness for us. Um, this one's called Walk Through Fire. She wrote this with David Penn.
you.